Okay, good morning everybody. It's uh, Dr. Todd Lasang out at a kind of blustery cold March day here at Tulsa Botanic Garden and today we're going to talk about a type of specialty pruning technique which is called hat racking. Hat racking is not something you really hear about in the U.S. but it's practiced a lot in Britain. It's a technique used to reduce the height of hedges. I'm going to be using some basic tools today. I'm going to be using a pruning saw to cut off some larger branches, a pair of lopping shears, to cut off medium sized branches and always handy dandy to have your pruning shears or secateurs if you want to call them that handy to prune. So we're going to take these beautiful ball cypress behind me which is a compact cultivar called PV Minaret. It actually gets a bit bigger than the books will tell you but that's not going to matter to us because we're going to keep it down in size so that it forms a backdrop for this lovely bench here and by hat racking it which we'll do every year, it's going to create a kind of a furry, fuzzy teddy bear look in the summer and it's going to just look really lush and full. I learned that you could actually do this on bald cypresses about a decade ago from a, a friend of mine, sadly now deceased, when I lived in Raleigh, North Carolina. And it's not something I thought bald cypresses would respond to, but um, proof will be in the pudding and you can get to come experience it here in the Children's Discovery Garden. Okay, well, we'll show you some demos as we go along the process. Okay, so now we're here at our, our uh, PV Minaret Bald Cypress, and I'm going to start the process of cutting off some branches. So I'm going to take this one, and I'm just going to hack it, and then I'm going to take another one. I shouldn't say hack. That's a terrible term that is not very horticultural. And uh, since this is the first year doing it, and it's also my first time ever doing this, I'm leaving a couple of nubs, but the technique I learned from Noel uh, my, my deceased buddy in Raleigh was you actually took it all the way back to the point where the branch hits the stem which is a a, um, a part of the tree called the branch collar for you arboriculture folks out there. Okay, so here we are with our finished product, and yes, it just looks like a bean pole. Um, so uh, we've cut this one off closer to seven feet high. Uh, we'll probably bring it down to six, but um, we're, we have the four more trees to cut the top out of, and Ellen Weatherholt, the children's garden curator, will come and make sure that they're even after we just do a rough cut. The only reason we're cutting back the tops is because these trees are taller than we originally wanted. We have a bench here, and so we don't want what looks to be a 12-foot tall hedge in front of a 3-foot tall bench because it would look out of scale. So come on by, see our hat racking, or in this case, maybe a modified hat racking since we're cutting closer to the trunk. And I think you'll, you'll see that, uh, although it looks really stark right now, that it's going to be a beautiful presence in the summer. And the trees are not going to die. This is bald cypress. It's seen worse than we can throw at it. So um, with that, I'm Todd Lasang, Tulsa Botanic Garden. Thank you for chiming in, for tuning in, and we'll see you soon. Okay, so uh, you may be saying, why would I ever want to do this at my home or not do this at your home? This is not something you ever do on a shade tree. You should never top your shade trees. It's terrible arboricultural practice. It ends up resulting in cavities which can weaken the tree and cause it to fall. But if you just have a small specimen tree that maybe is just outgrowing its space and you just want to be able to prune it back, trees are much more resilient to pruning than you would ever think. A lot of people think you can't prune trees, but that's just not the case. So if you just have something you want to take in, this is a unique, I would admit to you, a unique pruning method, but it can re uh, result in a plant where you just want it to fluff out and have a beautiful kind of presence. It works very well in bald cypress, but you could do it on any of a number of trees. Probably most maples would work. You could even do it on some young oaks. Again, nothing you're going to grow as a shade tree, but you know, experiment around. Um, one day we'll show you some things on some other plants, kind of a different types of pruning techniques like this, but um, something you might want to experiment with.